How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 19 shootout commentary. And this time, I'm going to use the laughing stock of the NHL right now, the poor Ottawa Senators. Michael Bonker, what can you do for me, my man? Little toe drag backhand, puts it in the back of the net. I want to talk about the Ottawa Senators and their offseason and the inevitable rebuild that they're going to have to go through for like the next five freaking years. The GM Pierre Dorian, the owner Eugene Melnick, I don't know what they're thinking. They've lost so many of their top tier players going back to like 2007. And for a team that was one goal away from the Stanley Cup, what, two years ago? To now be at, the, at where they're at, it's unbelievable, man. So we'll talk about the Ottawa Senators a little bit. First, I want to focus on the shootout. I was reading your comments. You guys trying to help me out with the uh, the superb man shot, so we'll get to that. Bobby Ryan, uh, the one piece that's unmovable from Ottawa, making 7 no. I didn't mean to go backwards. It's just typical. Bobby Ryan can't play hockey anymore, spinning in a damn shootout. They were trying to package Bobby Ryan with the Eric Carlson deal, but no team wanted to take on that four-year, $7.25 million per year deal. Ugh. Another horrible trade. When, when they finally decide to spend the money, they spend it on the wrong freaking player. Bobby Ryan, Dion Fagouf, Marion Gabrick. It's unreal. And while they're paying Eric Carlson $4.5 million. Oh, man. I'm trying to focus on the shootout, but jeez. Now I'm skipping. <laughs> this guy's not. All right, we'll watch the replays, buddy. I got plenty to talk about. Carlson gone. Hoffman gone. Broussard gone. Tura's gone, Zabinijad gone, Stone and Duchesne, they're gonna be gone. Spezza gone, Heatley gone. The only guy who actually finishes a career here <laughs> is Daniel Alfredson. Why do no players want to play with the Ottawa Senators? Why do they not want to play in Ottawa? Matthews, look, this guy is sick and tired of me not skipping. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, buddy. I got things to talk about. Mac Duchesne, he's going to be gone. I mean, we've seen how he reacts when he's on a team that's shit. Colorado, he, he was never able to lead that team to the glory. Ottawa Senators, he had a chance on that team. And everyone thought, hey, they're upgrading from Kyle Turris to Matt Duchesne. This team is going to be outstanding. Nope. So he's only got one year left. You know he's not going to resign there. They're probably going to have to try to move him to get some piece back. Mark Stone's going to go to his hometown team, Winnipeg. Make them a true Stanley Cup contender. I mean, they're just in absolute disarray right now. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's so salty right now. i got to make this save. Hang on. No! Oh, for fuck's sake! All right, got to win this shootout. This guy's angry. I'm going to make him watch his replays. <laughs> No, no, we'll skip it, we'll skip it. Oh, no, it's his goal. Look, he's making me watch it. Oh, he's so salty right now. All right, so every time I score, I'll make him slow down and watch my replay, and then I got to make those saves, all right? So 2-2, two, two. come on, we got to beat this guy. There we go, nice and slow. Nice and slow, just piss him off. <laughs> Fake, oh, oh, inside. Oh, no, he didn't come back to the forehand. I had him on the backhand. I overthought it. I should have just put it in right there. I was banking on him thinking that the backhand was wide open and he'd fly out of the net. Not, <laughs> not so. All right, here we go. Let's go, my man. I got to make a flying poke check of Rooney right here. Anderson, 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 baby. And I'm going to make a watch the replay. Screw you, kid. You get to watch yourself goof up over and over again. Watch, if I hit A, has he skipped it? Yeah, he did skip it. <laughs> All right. Pajot, 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 Pajot. Here we go, baby. Uh, backhand to the Forsberg. <laughs> Gotta move a little bit. I love how his goalie went for a paddle. Like, he's just trying to clear the puck with his paddle. Oh, yeah, let me just clear it into the corner instead of kicking out my left pad. We're gonna watch that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, JPG, get Pajot, number 44. Can he score another four-goal game for the Ottawa Senators? Man, those playoffs seem so long ago now. All right, hang on. I gotta make this save. Gotta make this save. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> nope. Game over, buddy. Dubinsky trying to snipe it on me. You got the wrong player for that. So the Ottawa Senators, what went wrong? I want you guys to talk about it here in the uh, in the chat. But, you know, if you go back to 2007, they were in the Stanley Cup Final against the Anaheim Ducks. They lost in five games. They were dominated. But they had an outstanding team that year. I mean, I'm a Leaf fan. I remember every game we played up against them. They were whooping our ass. They had Jason Spezza. They had Daniel Alfredson. They had Danny Heatley, right? And they lose in the Stanley Cup Final, and all of a sudden next year, Danny Heatley's like, oh, no, don't want to play here anymore. I don't know what the reason was, whether he wasn't paid enough, whether he just didn't like it in Ottawa, but no, I'm gone. Jason Spezza eventually leaves. Alfredson was the only one to stay, and now you have the exact same thing again. They were one goal away from the Stanley Cup Final, Looking like the team is a, a bright-ass future. And all of a sudden, no rebuild time. A guy like Eric Carlson, Gonzo. How do you let that guy walk? 
I mean, the whole situation between Carlson and Hoffman, the two wives fighting. How do you let that happen if you're the GM? The second someone starts screwing around with Carlson, your superstar franchise player, you trade that goofball. Hoffman would have been Gonzo Alonso the second that I heard about that. So I don't know if Carlson just didn't like the city. I don't know if he just wants to go play for a contender. I don't know if he's you know, ticked off that he wasn't paid because that's always been the thing with Pierre Dorian and Eugene Melnick, not play and not paying players the money that they're worth, never being close to the salary cap. And these poor Ottawa Senator fans, now what they have to go through, they have to go through another rebuild. And you know it's going to be a long one too because there's so many other teams in the Atlantic Division that are up and coming and young. I mean, Tampa Bay, they're at the pinnacle right now and they just got Kucherov signed for another eight years. So good luck competing with Stammer, Hedman, and Kucherov. The Toronto Maple Leafs, I'm not even looking to... Uh to compliment myself being a Leaf fan, but are you really going to compete with the Leafs anytime soon, Ottawa? No, you guys are in the shits right now, and you have no one to blame but your ownership and your GM. You had good pieces, you had a good team, and you just, I don't know if it's you just don't treat them well, or you just, you just run them out of town, but it's a history thing with the Ottawa Senators. It's a pattern that keeps on getting repeated. Players don't want to stay there, and they leave in the middle of their prime when they're one of the best in the NHL. What the fuck? So I want to put this question to you guys, especially with the NHL draft upcoming. Last year, or not last year, this draft that just passed, they selected Brady Kachuk fourth overall. Now, when they made the trade for Colorado for Matt Duchesne, they gave up their first rounder for that season, thinking that they would be another, uh, thinking that they would be a good team, another good playoff run, maybe making the Stanley Cup Finals. They ended up missing the playoffs. So that first overall pick. Senators could choose whether or not it would be a pick in 2018 and 2019. They chose to select in 2018 getting Brady Kachuk at fourth overall, which means that the Colorado Avalanche have the Ottawa Senators first rounder for this season. I thought that was a horrible decision because, fuck, they don't have Carlson this year. They're arguably, arguably going to be worse and they can have the first overall draft pick. That's going to go to the Colorado Avalanche. So the question I want to put to you guys, did the Senators make the right choice selecting Brady Kachuk fourth overall at the draft or should they have given that pick to Colorado and held on to this year's pick? It's just the theme of the Ottawa Senators is mismanagement. Could you imagine if they get the first overall pick this year and it goes to Colorado and it's Jack Hughes? I mean, there's another superstar player, Gonzo Alonso. It's just, oh my god. So, Senator fans, I am sorry, but you guys are in the shits, and it seems like you're going to be in the shits for a long time. Your GM even prepared you guys for a shitty season. Wearing a Reebok jersey, of all things. Just goes to show you how dumb your management is. So, boys, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win, trip to the wild card. First inning.